Yes, uh, Bruce, uh, who founded the Foundation for Religious Literacy, was bicycling, and he broke his collarbone. He, is, he got excellent medical attention. He's in really good spirits. He's happy. He's, he's doing well. He sends his regards. When we were thinking about this event, um, a, a quote from Houston Smith came to mind. He's a, a scholar of comparative religions, who traveled the world studying religions. And he said that the century's scientific advances must be matched by comparable advances in human relations. When I think of that, I think of the time we are in now of extraordinary challenges and opportunities. For instance, in 2012, Protestant Christians in the United States became a minority. This is the first time in the nation's history where that's the case. It's also the first time in human history where there is now a democracy with a nation of religious minorities. It's unprecedented time. And yet, what time we are in with increases in social hostilities around religion. There's a new study that came out that said that one in five families who are Muslim are finding that their children are being bullied in public schools. And one in four of those bullies are teachers. The level of hostilities around religion are so severe that we are in a time with the most on record hate crimes for Sikh Americans, for Jews with an incredible amount of anti-Semitism. What, what I'm trying to say simply is there's a vast amount of illiteracy about religion. Right? Equating religion with institutions, equating religion even with theism, or equating non-religion as somehow atheism or anti-religion. Right? Then in fact, the, the people who identify with no religion at all, actually 83% of them, say that they're theists. So there's this incredible amount of opportunity for us to lean into one another in this age of being a nation of religious minorities in order to promote religious literacy. But that's only one of two critical civic competencies that must be cultivated. The second being science literacy. There is there is a predatorial type of opportunity in politics to use illiteracy about science to breed political contempt. That is an error in our collective community that can be healed through mutual understanding, and understanding need not imply agreement. So why I find great value in this gathering is that you are the visionaries, you are the leaders who are leaning into those civic competencies of science literacy and religious literacy in order to make meaning in an age of great acts of demeaning. And this can be healed by leaning in and looking at the great scientific advances and taking up the charge to make comparable advances in human relations. Hope you have a wonderful conference. It's an honor to be in your presence.